In this video we're going to review how to add a testimonial to your website. First go ahead and open your website in a browser and once you have that open in one browser window we recommend that you then proceed to open up the administrative portion of your website in another tab. This allows you to review the changes you've made very quickly and easily. So I'm going to go here and log into the administrative portion of my website in the new tab. Go ahead and enter in your login ID and password. And this is the main function screen and we need to go ahead and click on the K2 quick icons at the bottom of the screen and then click on items to take a look at the existing items that you have. We use K2 to manage your testimonials. Here we're going to pick the right category and select the testimonials category to view all that we have. This would be important if we wanted to edit an existing testimonial. Here I'll go ahead and click on a thank you and uh, just give you an example of how we would open that, make the changes, and then when we're done, go ahead and save that, save those changes. In this case, we want to go ahead and add a new testimonial. So what we're going to do is click on the new icon and we're going to begin with a title for our testimonial. I'll just enter a sample here. You guys rock. Go ahead and leave the alias empty and then make sure that for category you've selected testimonials. Leave tags empty and now go ahead and start typing in the testimonial from your client. We recommend to keep continuity that you place quotation marks around the quote from your client and then when you're done go ahead and enter their name and their company name on a separate line and then write justify those two. We'll show you how that happens right here. Just about done typing this here. Always a good idea to make sure you're being accurate. All right. Place that last quotation mark and press enter. Go ahead and type in the client name. And in order to make this work well, go ahead and press control enter at the end of that line and type in the business name or the website address for that client. Then go ahead and highlight those two lines and write justify them. This will keep everything in the same format. If you want to go ahead and add an image here, go ahead and move your cursor to the beginning of the testimonial. Press your image icon on the toolbar and go ahead and upload a photo from your computer into the directory on the web server and this allows you to go ahead and find that photo and upload that again directly from your computer. It's important to remember when we're using the website we need to update or upload photos from our computer to the website before we can use them. We can't link to a computer or to a file that's on our computer. We have to upload it to the website first. So I've done so here. I'm going to go ahead and adjust the size of it. I want it to appear on the left and uh, that means I'm going to want it to be about 300 to 350 pixels wide and in addition I'm going to want to put a margin around that or some white space of about 15 pixels. Oops, forgot to do that. Go ahead and re-click on the image. Click on the image toolbar and go ahead and add that margin back in and update. Everything said and done, we can go ahead and save and close, and you've just added a new testimonial. Testimonials will automatically appear on the website, uh, and uh, no need to go ahead and do anything more than that. And with that, you're all done.